Yeah, right. one, we are lesson A-6, Synthetic Division. The shortcut lesson today is the 27th of March, 2023. All right, so I'm first going to tell you when you are allowed to use a shortcut. Laptop should be shut. Grace and Bia. Wow. Tell us when to use shortcut. You can only do it when you're dividing. Should I do it in words? Yes. Uh -huh. I'll do it in word, words and then I'll do an example. How about that? Um, yeah. <laughs> only when dividing by, um, I'll say, a linear binomial. And with uh, it's a linear binomial that's a specific case with leading coefficient of one. That is a mouthful, which is why I didn't really want to do linear that in words. With leading coefficient of one? Well, I don't know what that means. Right? Yeah. D Wait, does anyone? So only do when, I even know? It? So only when the, the linear binomial with, uh, with like a leading no. of one. Yeah, so, so like, as an example, I'll say no shortcut. No. I, I think it's by seeing the U. That's weird. You're just stinking up. Charlie, put your shoes on. Mr. Savelle, can I get a YouTube shout out? I'm running. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not a me. Hi, Charlie. Charlie needs to put his shoes on. <laughs> Charlie put his shoes on. Can you guys smell from back there already? Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> Adam is never with all the All right. I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink of water so straight I can get caught up. Yes. Yeah. Water. So is that a no on the YouTube channel? I thought my water was left at the bottom. Did you drop my Instagram channel? Is that a no on the YouTube channel? I said your name. What are you? What are you? Mr. Guess what? Show me on YouTube. So. Eli was Hi, Marley. telling me, Eli Hi, Charlie. Was telling me that um, hey, on one of the videos that he had to watch for homework, all of a sudden he heard Charlie say, yeah, my mom dropped me in the chili parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know what that meant, but hopefully he's okay. Oh yeah, my, because I what I'm doing right now is because I have to teach two classes at the same time at I the 7th and 8th grade level. You said you we're doing the same thing. The eighth graders, they just watch your old lessons, so anything that you say right now, they will probably hear in the future. No, so, oh, hi, Seth Hi! Hello. Oh my god. Charlie, in fact, did get dropped in a children's parking lot, and then he came back, not, he said he was not wearing shoes right now. All right, sit kid. down. Yeah. She's kind of ready, set, Charlie, you can come to the lunch party. If I divide by, 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 Plus seven. That's crazy. I love can't, that number. Can't seven. do a shortcut. But if I divide a giant number over here, a giant polynomial over here by something like x plus seven, you're ready to go. That's Wait, easy. So you can it's just a normal. Can I ask a question? So, can you oh, no? sure. so, like, you can only do the shortcut when it's x plus or minus something. But yeah. oh. So I can divide by something like x minus eight. That would also be a shortcut. Give me an example of someone. Shout it out. What would be an example that you could do? Uh, two. Wait. Um, no, three not. x plus Four x nine minus <laughs> with um, nine hundred seventy-five divided by three x plus nine. Sure. Yeah, you could also divide by something like. Yeah x squared plus 2, that wouldn't, wouldn't work because I have a squared and it has to be linear, right? So it has to be linear. I think that's, that's good enough. You guys all, give me a quick fist five. You understand when you can use and when you cannot use a shortcut? It'll save some time on the quiz and the test. I'll give you some of these and I won't tell you. I'll be like, you can just divide it, do whatever you want. And if you see, ooh, he gave us a nice one, just go ahead and use some division. If so there's an x in the front, what if the x is in the back? Like uh, if I'm dividing by like eight minus one, six. eight minus x. Yeah. You still do that. Okay, I wasn't sure. Because this is the same. Oh okay, no, know. you this can't. It's not the same thing. You, you could do it. This now you can. Why can't you do it with the subtraction? Oh, that's a good question. Because this is the same thing as dividing by x plus eight. But if I have uh, 
And x no. minus 8, that's the same thing as dividing, or sorry. If I have an 8 minus x, that's the same thing as dividing by negative x plus 8, and that is a leading coefficient of negative 1. Oh my this so is a leading coefficient of positive, positive one. one. Yeah. Oh I, I won't do this to you, but just to answer your question. Just in case. Yeah. That's just guess. crazy. Would you punch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet the wall is worse for wear now. I went like this, and I hit a piece of metal, and the wall came back. I'm sorry. Well, I literally got pounded on the pavement. Okay, so. well, I don't care. Let's be careful about our words, Charles. <laughs> uh, let's just go do it get one. Yeah. <laughs> Do I see my hip? <laughs> I totally see your hip. All right. Example number one. I want you, I'm going to give you a problem that we had from like yesterday. You guys can make up numbers. These always work out nice. Sometimes they have really disgusting. Um, 7 plus 14 plus 21 plus 28. 7 x squared plus 14. 14 yeah, like, x, x minus uh, 21. 21. I have, this, these numbers might be disgusting because we're making up on the fly, but I just know all these problems work. The one thing that we have to make sure that we do is we need to divide by something with an x right there, and then we're like good to go. Do you want a plus, minus, what do we want? Plus, plus 38. Oh my goodness, are you sure? <laughs> no, plus. Um, Can we make it small, like between 1 and 10? 9! again. We'll do nine next time. Yeah. Okay, so there's our first problem. Ooh, I'm seeing like all of these are multiples of seven. I wonder if something weird is going to happen. All right, so the way that you set up synthetic division is strange. Here's how you set up synthetic division. You take the opposite. Thank you, Mia. You take the opposite of this number. Instead of having a positive seven, I'm having a negative seven. So I'll, I'll in the notes the way that I would do this is so I would say this comes down here and I would write opposite. A positive seven becomes a negative seven, and that's kind of like my. If you guys can come up with a metaphor for me, that would be great. Metaphor. It's my my tax person, or it's my. What do you call the person that you always have to? Tax it's collector. my toll. My toll collector is a better way. Every time you get on the road, you gotta pay your toll. Oh, we went over a bridge I one time. Fast track, so. Well, if it's, yeah, this is your their fast dash chip or whatever. Every time you go, you don't even have to worry about it. You just got to pay it. All right. I, essentially, what I'm going to do here is I'm giving one blank line, two blank lines, and then three. there's going to be three lines of stuff that's going to happen. Because there's three. First thing that you do, you're going to take your coefficients. You're, not, you're going to ignore the x part, ignore the x. There's nothing to ignore. So I'm going to take the coefficients, seven. I'm going to take the coefficient, keep going, shut them out. 14. 14, I'm going to take the coefficient. Negative 21. Careful, negative 18. 21. I'm going to skip a line. Ew. So give some room, I'm going to write some numbers down here, skip a line, oh. draw my line. Okay, synthetic division has been set up. It looks what? random for now, but I promise it will be easy with the seven. Why not negative seven? <laughs> Next time, one of these. All right. So the way that synthetic division works is this number, I'm going to bring it straight below the line okay. and just say that's a seven. I know, it's, it's weird to just teach a procedure. It feels what wrong. Okay, every single time, Marley, be done. Every single time that I go past the line up to this diagonal, got to pay my tax collector, my pay toll person, whatever it is, I need to multiply this number by that number. So, seven times negative seven, negative 49, and then I'm going to go ahead and add these together. And I'm going to keep doing this over and over until I'm done. Is what in the world? I'm sorry, I don't understand yeah, the no, thing I'm not you sure just about said. It goes, like, I'm going to give you a nice problem in a sec, one that's actually from a classwork, so you can see how nice it is. This one was a gross problem. Well, oh, that's my bad. Negative 49 and 14 adds up to a negative... Um, uh, negative... 18. 35. Okay, and that's the gross part. I was worried about this. Now we got to pay your toll person. Because we're going up past the diagonal. Negative 35 times negative 7. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god. Who chose this problem? I'm a brokey now. 7 times what? 5, 35. 7 times no, 3, 21, 22, 23, 24. 37. Mm. I'm so shaky. Uh, negative 245. Oh, 245! Okay, and then combine these two. So I get a 200. 224. Okay. 
Wait, so when you do, so your first number that seven, do you just always drop it down? Always drop down from. I feel like. All right. And then that's our answer. Our answer, our answer is really close to being done. The last number will always be the remainder. The next number will always be the constant. The next number will always be the linear. Here, maybe you don't like these words. Maybe I'll say that this is the. You like the word instead of constant. You like the word uh, number. This is always the number term. This is always the x term. This, if I had a number over here, this one would be x squared. If I had a number right here, it'd be always x cubed. If I had a number right here, it'd be always be x. X. X, x, uh, to, the x to the fourth. X to the fourth. Exactly. You just kind of get bigger and bigger as you move out to the left. So no matter. So what here's my answer. My answer is. 224 is my remainder, which I always divide by the thing I was dividing by. This is always going to be 224 divided by seven. x plus 7. So, no matter. That's a positive. No matter. So, like, no matter what you do, your last number, you're always going to have a remainder. And well, sometimes this number will be zero. Oh, so you don't have a remainder. No way. Okay. Crazy, right? Oh, that wow, that's not that crazy. crazy. This is just your number, so I'm going to say this is your constant. Negative 35 is your constant. And this is your 7x. Oh, 7x? Oh my God, I'm so why, wait, why isn't it an x? You never wrote the x before. We... This number is always your x. So 7x. Oh. So if, if I had like a 9 here, you'd have a 9x squared, but I don't have anything there, so I, I got don't you, have an I x squared. Do we so, have to use this? No, no. This, this is a shortcut. If you like the long way, do it the long way. Let me show you oh, no. the actual, like how fast this goes, and you'll be like, oh, that's actually, I might consider doing that. I'm going right. to do this. This looks easier. Heck no, Afu. Mine goes hurts because I'm. Wait, so why is that seven it's... negative again? Negative. Why is that why seven is that negative? Because it was a it's positive. Like the opposite of whatever that is. If that so is a negative eight, okay. this turns into a positive eight. If that was a positive 23, that would be a negative 23. You always switch the sign. Switching the sign is known as taking the opposite. Opposite means you switch the sign. All right. Um, what's something that comes out noise? Grinch is dying. That's a match. It's you know that I choked on a fruit yesterday and Claire and Cody both looked at me like, oh, Now no, I felt no, no, it. No, no. Like I had to drink water until the fruit got soggy. Ember said that. They're uh, really good at it. Um, I will write this as well. I don't want to write it. I'll say it out loud. Okay. Um, I'll say it out loud. I will write this as well i do not want to write it i will say it out loud be careful that you don't skip a term. Like if I went 17x cubed and then 14x, I would have skipped my x squared. You still need to have those placeholders from our last lesson of having a zero. Just be careful that still applies. But I'm not going to give you one of those. I'm going to give you one that looks like this. I have a pimple. Wait, x so cubed minus 17x squared plus 77x minus 39. That's all going to be. That's a nine. What in the world? How is this the easier one? I'm going to give you this problem no matter what, and you're going to choose. Do you, you want to do this using the box method? I don't know. Or do you want to use simple oh, division? This, is a, no, you this one can be solved. Yeah, I like it. That's a mistake. That's a math. Ooh, I saw that. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. Because this one is in the classwork, I should have a nice number, I'm hoping. Let's see. Today is the 27th of March. There it is. 27th of March. Mr. Sindal, guess what? Chicken butt. All right. Number two. Oh. Here we go. I'm going to set up synthetic division. Do you want me to go as fast as I can and show you how yes. this looks? Yes. yes. Ready? Wait, On your I marks? Have one like, last. Wait, I have everyone one take your marks. Question. Okay. So when it's like, so like you said, with like the placeholder, when it's just three um, terms, right, uh, do we always, how, how would it look if you had a placeholder with doing this? Yeah, so let me go ahead and do that off the side here. We don't need you anymore. Oh! oh. We need uh, Denied. Um, x cubed minus 2x plus 5. This one would need a placeholder. Here's why. It goes 3, 1, 0. The degree is 3, the degree is 1, the degree is 0. And they have to be descending degrees. So I skip my x squared term. So well, here's so how it's rewrite. not descending, you don't need a placeholder? Exactly. Oh. So this is, maybe this should be added to the notes yesterday. Like you do need a placeholder whenever you skip the power. So I skip the x squared power, or I skip the x squared term. So you need to have a placeholder there. That applies to synthetic division as well. Sometimes you'll have a zero. All right, can I go? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, sir, I'm gonna leave you behind for just a little bit. On. on your marks? Yes, yes sir. Go. Put your shoes on. No. Positive seven comes up here. I'm taking the coefficients. One, negative 17, 77, negative 39. Skip a line. Draw the line. Ready? One comes straight down. One. Pay the tax person. One times seven? Uh, seven. One. Sorry, I mean. Seven. <laughs> 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 
Add them. Negative 10. Again, every time that you come up here, you pay the toll person or tax person. Okay. I'm going to pay the toll person. 70. 70. With a negative because it's positive times negative. Seven. Add them straight down. 7. Seven. Seven. Pay the toll persons. Oh, it's uh, 49. 49. 49. 49. 49. Add them straight down. Uh, eight, eight, uh, 10. 10. And there's my answer. My answer is that's the remainder, so that one's going to be divided by uh, x minus 7. x minus 7. So it's going to be. That was a positive. That's the number. That's the x. That's the x squared. So it's going to be x squared minus 10x plus 7. Plus uh, that's, 10 really, that's pretty x. slow. Honestly, no. But, it's actually, actually works. but it only works when it's the x minus. It when only it's works x. Yeah, with these types of problems. So okay, that well, that helps wasn't that exciting. It. Yeah, it's one of those like niche tools that if you're like, uh, I don't know, what's the connoisseur of math? You're like, I know how to use all of these different tricks. Yeah, but it's, it's helpful, but in them. very, very specific cases, and it's not going to be very many. <laughs> I'll probably only put one or two of these on the next test. I'm going to put two of these or three of these on the next quiz, though. Huh? Go for it. All right. Um, really quickly, me on your fist of five. How do you feel about oh, synthetic five. division? When to use it? Not five. A five. A five. A wiggly five. Charlie, wiggly four. Five. five a wig, no, a normal four, and a five, and Charlie's at a, Charlie's at a, wiggly five, all right, so, back to the Um, do we have to do,